Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, I want to work really hard on helping you understand uh, what it means to have a derivative that is a function. So if you've been watching my videos, uh, we've already done a lot of work on figuring out uh, what it means to be a derivative at a single point. You know, maybe I want to figure out what the tangent line slope is at maybe, you know, a specific point here. Now, when we take a derivative as a function, we're creating a brand new function that will essentially give us that same information, but we can do it for any single value of x. Okay, so there's important things that I want you to know, and let's get to them one at a time. The very first thing that I want you to know is that when you do a differentiation or you do a derivative, that depending on the book you use or even just the instructor, that there's many different ways that a derivative can be written. So I like to use this notation a lot. It says f prime of x. That stands for the derivative of f. But you could see a few other things as well, like y prime would be the derivative of y. Uh, some other ones, this is like Leibniz notation, where you have df over dx, or say d dx f of x. These are all different ways to write a derivative. Uh, no matter how the derivative is written, though, uh, notice how usually there's some sort of independent variable specified so you know what you're taking the derivative with respect to. Okay? So let's get into the nuts and bolts of how this is different from taking a derivative at a single point. If you look at how a derivative is defined for a single point versus how a derivative is defined uh, as a function, you'll notice that it's simply the same formula. It doesn't really look like much has changed. But in reality, something very big has changed. When you're looking at a specific point, this little x sub zero is in a sense fixed and it's not changing and it's really anchored at that point. But if you were to just replace that x sub zero with just a general x, then you're allowing x to be anything, any point in the domain of f. Now what this will allow you to do is now you have a cooked up formula that if you did want to find it at specific points, you could easily feed those into. Now let me give you some quick uh, uh, pointers on you know, why the derivative is going to be so important as a function. If you have the derivative as a function, you can quickly determine how a function is changing for any given value of x. So instead of always computing and looking for that slope of the tangent line going through that giant difference quotient, you essentially just go through it once and then you plug values into that. So it's a lot faster. Uh, also, you can solve for x values that have a specific value of their derivative. So what if you want all places on the graph where you know the, the derivative is equal to three? you'll be able to do that very quickly. Now, these are just two advantages that we'll immediately get from the derivative, but there's many, many more to come. All right, let me give you an example of, of how this derivative will help us out. Okay, so suppose I have a function, let's call it uh, 5x squared plus 2x minus four. And I'm curious as to what the derivative is at the point three. Well, normally I'd have to put the three into the difference quotient and do the limit, uh, but I've already computed the limit and I have it as a function right here. So to actually go through and figure out what the derivative as th of three is, then I simply substitute that value into my derivative function. So let's see, 10 times three is 30 plus two, 32. So I know immediately that the slope of the tangent line at x equals three is 32. And if I had to turn around and do another one, I can just borrow that derivative function one more time, and again, use substitution. So here is 10 times negative one plus two, so negative 10 plus two, and that would equal a negative eight. So you can quickly just keep finding uh, the, the slope of the tangent line for specific points once you have that function. And of course, here's the other uh, flip side. I, I can also figure out exactly when the derivative will equal a value and kind of work backwards and figure out what my x needs to be, okay? So for this one, I'll replace all of f prime of x with the function that represents it. So I wanna know where does this thing equal 92? So I could subtract two from both sides, get a 90, and then divide by 10 and see that x equals nine. And so what this is telling me is, you know, if I was curious, where is the slope of the tangent line equal to 92? Oh, well that happens at x equals nine. And it's much easier to work with these functions rather than always having to go back to, say, the limit of the difference quotient. 
Now one cool thing about uh, having the derivative as a function is it tells us a little bit about the continuity of the function and it tells us a lot about the smoothness of the function. Here's what it says about continuity. If the derivative of a function at a point c exists, then you actually know that f is continuous at that point c. So if you can find the derivative at that point, there's no breaks or gaps at that point. Uh, since derivatives are really based off of the slopes of those tangent lines, uh, you know that your function is sufficiently smooth if you can find places where there is a derivative. Now, be careful, uh, continuity doesn't work in the other direction when it works with uh, differentiation. You might have some functions that are continuous, so they don't have any breaks or gaps, but they are actually not differentiable. Uh, we covered those earlier though, those are things that might have, say, uh, a corner or, say, a cusp in them, or even possibly a vertical tangent. You know, in situations like that, it is continuous, but you know what? No derivative is going to exist at those points. Okay? So that's just a little bit about the uh, information about uh, having the derivative of a function. Uh, check out my other videos so you can actually see how to compute the derivative uh, as a function. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.